Hey everyone, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around uh, the prayer that uh, Representative Emmanuel Cleaver had yesterday at the conclusion of his prayer. It says, a man and a woman. And um, I feel sorry for him because obviously he's very uneducated regarding the subject. Uh, I know he wants to be so politically correct and be gender neutral or include both genders in it, but it shows to me how uneducated he is. First and foremost, because the word amen has nothing to do with gender, uh, with any kind of gender. It is not uh, specified for uh, a masculine gender. The word amen simply means uh, so be it. And it is uh, cross languages that has the same meaning. And uh, just because there is a man in it, M-E-N in it, it doesn't make it a masculine thing. And for him to uneducatedly stand there and trying to be so politically correct that he is uneducated uh, about it. And then <laughs> what makes me laugh about all of this is the comedians haven't even picked this up. And what makes me uh, laugh about this is that that, that the uh, mainstream media actually is applauding this guy. Uh, and it makes, it makes me wonder how educated the mainstream media is that he is completely making a fool of himself. And if I was a liberal uh, person, if I was somebody that was fighting for liberalism, I would be actually offended with the lack of intellectuality with it. So with that said, uh, I just want to uh, help this gentleman. I want to help the, the, uh, the uh, Mr. Emmanuel Cleaver uh, to educate him a little bit. I hope he gets this video somehow or other people send him their own videos. Uh, putting on YouTube, see where it goes. But uh, by the way, you cannot redefine the definition of a word that it is uh, universal, first and foremost. And uh, by the way, just in case you did not know, maybe perhaps you should think about how to call yourself because the, your name, Emmanuel, means God with us. And so uh, you should be not calling yourself God with us because you are offending because God is referred as he uh, is giving a masculine, uh, a, a masculine uh, uh, invitation towards uh, to who he is. And so you should be very gender um, aware about your own name, that your name is Emmanuel, God with us, and we refer to God as he. And so you have to be very politically correct, sir. You have to be very politically correct since you're going to be politically correct and then redefine the word amen uh, because of uh, of you want to be so cool and laugh about it and the way you cl close it, amen, a woman half walking away, which is ridiculous. I mean, come on, folks. <laughs> folks, even you guys who are the liberal, you should agree, at least please call him or uh, Democrats call him and tell him to come apologize for being stupid. He's making you guys look bad. He's making you guys look stupid. And, and sir, with all due respect, your name, Emmanuel, God with us. He is with us. Uh, what are you going to call yourself now? Uh, are you going to change your name? Because your name might be offending the opposite sex because the opposite sex or the, uh, the, the female sex saying God is referred as he and we are offended by it. What's going to be now? <laughs> I'm just asking questions because, uh, you know, obviously we are so politically correct that we're losing our minds. Think about it, folks. Liberals, think about it. You're making, you're making yourself look so stupid. You're making lefties and all of the socialists. You guys are making yourself look stupid. I don't, I don't even need to disagree with you on, on the subject because this is so stupid. And whoever agrees with this guy, whoever applauds this guy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like to say this word, but you're uneducated. You're stupid. And you have crowned yourself as an idiot. I thought in my life I would never see a real person like the movie Dumb and Dumber. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. We got the dumb and dumber. We got the dumb in form of the uh, Mr. Emmanuel Cleaver, and we got the dumber in the form of the, yeah, the, the mainstream media and all the crazy people who are talking that he's enlightened this whole thing. Nothing enlightened about it. Nothing enlightened about it. The only thing that's enlightened about it is you guys making yourself a fool and proving yourself to everybody that you have no idea what you guys are talking about, just want to talk about something to be different, to look, oh, I'm all for everyone. 
you guys need to correct this guy, man. I don't know. You guys got to correct this guy. I, this guy, you need to come out, dude, and you need to apologize. You need to apologize for making all those people who voted for you look stupid to vote for you. Because you're calling them, because by, by your, your, your statement, you told them, I'm so stupid, and you guys voted for a stupid person to pray in the, the way I pray. You know, I don't even care that you were praying for all the other gods and stuff and whatever. Because it's not about Christianity. It's not about faith. You can pray. You know, you can you can mention the name of all gods that you want to mention up there. But the fact is that my goodness, dude. I I, I don't know, folks. I'm just I'm just sharing my frustration out here, and I hope somebody you know out there. Uh, if this video doesn't get to him, somebody out there gets to him and say, dude, man, you're making. All the people we're representing look dumb because they voted for you who is a really dummy at this moment you got sir the crown of the dumbest person in 2021 right now <laughs> and i'm not trying to be fetishious i'm not trying to be you know whatever you want to call me i'm not making fun of you i'm just i the reason i'm laughing is is because i cannot i cannot for my I cannot reason with it in, in any, any way. I reason with all your political correctness stuff, Democrats and all the liberals and all this. I reason it. I understand it. I get it. I don't agree with you. I get it. Why you come? Where you coming from? I we, we agree to disagree, and we are cool. But on this subject, oh my goodness, this is dumb. This is straight stupid. It's uh, yeah, and so and uh, and mainstream media. You guys better deal with this. You better, guys, get him to come on your show and say that, hey, I made a mistake. Uh, I'm not that stupid. Uh, I was a spare moment of thing that I said. And, uh, you know, the people I'm representing us didn't vote for a stupid guy that um, understands his own, uh, doesn't understand the meaning of the word. And perhaps if you want to change anything, that you want to be very liberal and politically correct since... The liberals and the liberal movements and uh, the Democrats really don't believe, you know, in the hierarchy of God in our life, specifically Jesus, specifically Jesus. By the way, sir, your name represents Jesus because that's one of his name, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. So you perhaps, if you want to be really politically correct and really want to serve the agendas of your party, Perhaps change your name. Or maybe you're going to change the definition of your name. Who knows? I just leave it by for what it is.